Hello, I am Alexei, and today I'm presenting a paper. It has been a while I presented a paper. Usually it's special lectures for me, but anyway, here we are today. The paper is called Multimodal Pretraining Based on Graph Attention Network for Document Understanding. It's a recent paper. Unfortunately, there is no Code, which is quite typical for document understanding. Not all branches of computer science uh, have open codes and models. <laughs> the first question is, what is document understanding? Document understanding, I'll give a generic introduction because not everybody worked with this. Uh, document understanding means understanding paper documents by the computer, extracting textual and other information from them. It's a fundamentally multimodal problem as it has different modalities such as text, images, and layout. It's also a pretty hard problem. There are many very different document types, and there is severe domain problem. In other words, if you train a neural network on books, don't expect it to generalize to receipts. And document understanding is a vast computer science field. It has its own conferences and more than one, actually. It's definitely not a subfield of computer vision, and it's definitely not something you can master in one week. So please treat document understanding with a little respect. There are many different document types. This is figure from today's paper, such as receipt, form, report, and invoice. And of course, there are many other ones. I'll add, for example, scientific article and book, which are also documents. And uh, document understanding is a field of computer science which has many subfields, such as document classification, where you classify documents type. I would say it's easy and boring, nothing interesting here. Document layout analysis, when you segment documents into blocks of text, figure, so tables. Basically, it's object detection or instance segmentation applied to documents. And it has a subfield called table detection. Another subfield is text detection, where you detect blocks of text or sometimes separate words with their bounding boxes and once you did you can do text transcription and take a text block and transcribe it into a text stream text detection and transcription together are sometimes called optical character recognition and now the hardest uh, tasks in document understanding are key information extraction, where you extract key value pairs from forms uh, and visual question answering, where you answer questions about document from text prompts. Uh, the, the, the last two tasks are very hard and are typically only solved uh, on some particular style of form like receipts or form of some type and not in generic documents like human scan. Also note that OCR for scenes uh, such as reading the street science while it's similar to OCR for documents can be difficult in te different in technical details. Now we are finished with general introduction. Let's move to the paper. The choice of today's paper is more or less arbitrary. I just uh, looked at this year, 2002, and chose one uh, paper, on this very recent paper on document understanding, which I liked. Of course, there are many other interesting papers in document understanding. Uh, as probably all know, nowadays there is a modern fashion that big transformer will solve every problem. Of, co of course, it's not so in reality, but the profits of transformers always think like that who are not technically educated. And if you have a big transformer, the idea is to pre-train it once in a supervised way on a huge data set. And there, and for particular downstream tasks, you add heads to this foundational model and fine tune for particular tasks. It's a, a standard paradigm nowadays, especially in natural language processing. In real life, of course, transformers have 
well-known drawbacks. They scale poorly with the number of tokens, and they don't have fundation biases such as locality or translational invariance, which other types of networks have. Thus, it, they typically take more time and data set size to train successfully. In this paper, they combine attention, the like and transformer attention sense, and graph neural networks. The result is graph attention networks. Of course, it's not introduced in this paper. Graph attention network is pretty much well known. Uh, and and they still uh, live in this paradigm train and model, a universal model and unsupervised data and fine tune if needed. But uh, here as they use graph attention network, they could do it with a bit smaller data set compared to vanilla transformers. <laughs> Their model is called GraphDoc, and very briefly, GraphDoc is a graph attention network. They pre-train it on masked sentence modeling and supervised task. The input network input is one image of a single document, and the output is a tens of document embeddings, which could be used with additional heads for downstream tasks when you fine-tune the network. Architecture look like this. First, you do OCR of the document in two boxes of text. I really don't know what they do with images. Actually, it's not well explained in the paper. But with box of text, they run the box, each box into textual encoder. And also, they run each text box into visual encoder. And they I get sentence embeddings and visual embeddings uh, and, and run this embeddings into their main model, which includes graph attention network and also some steep connection uh, with visual and um, with original visual embeddings only. And this steep connection use so-called gate fusion layers across. Uh, and finally, they get uh, the final graph embedding, which can be used for mask sentence modeling on training or some downstream tasks. And there are a few technical details which I'll not focus on, such as the class embedding at training time, mask embedding, and also full image features, the visual features of the whole document, not only uh, bounding boxes. And some technical details. For OCR, um, they use pre-trained easy OCR. Uh, I, I agree that easy OCR is probably the best of publicly available OCR model nowadays to extract text boxes and text from them. For textual encoder, they use a pre-trained sentence bird, uh, which encodes sentences, not individual words. Um, and for visual encoder, they use Win plus FPN, feature pyramid network, which the authors uh, do, to pre train themselves uh, on PubLayNet, one of the doc large document data sets. And then uh, when the visual features are found for the entire document, they extract features in each bounding box uh, with raw align procedure like in mask RCNN. And uh, encoders run for every box detected by Easy OCR, and both encoders use trainable layout embed to encode bounding box information. <laughs> A, a bit of more detail. Text information looks like this. For each box, they, they get the text run through sentence bird transform, pre-train transformer, and layout embedding layer encodes the bounding box coordinates. And then everything is joined together. For visual encoder, they use the same layout embedding layers for bounding boxes. And for visual information, they take Swin transformer. They take, after Swin transformer, they run FPN. So it basically works like FPN with Swin transformer backbone. And then out of FPN features, they use this pool operation to cut the bounding box, the features for each bounding box. Here's the result. 
Now the main networks, it has gate fusion crosses and graph attention blocks, green boxes. For each graph attention, each node of the graph attend only its neighbors within certain radius. And there is also a global node which attends to all nodes of the graph for global information like needed for things like document classification. And they repeat it many times and use this skip connection. The skip connection, they use this gate fusion, which is a mixture of previous iteration features with unmodified original visual features. And the mixing coefficient Z is uh, obtained by simple to lay neural network. Uh, this is not necessary, really necessary for graph neural uh, attention networks, it's just some trick to improve of their results. And graph att for graph attention is more or less a standard attention procedure like in transformal paper uh, with only neighbors of the graph and they use position or some kind of treaty to dimensional positional encoding. Um, and next what about training? First um, they train their model they call it pre-training unsupervised uh, training on mask sentence modeling task which is obviously a built in spite of course where some random sentences are masked in text embeddings only and the network is trying to predict them on rvl cd one of the document data sets i really don't know what exactly is sentence is it all text from one box or really one sentence uh, anyway something is masks and they're trying to predict it for experiments they they take the strain graph doc model and find unit on downstream tasks they use several data sets uh, PubLayMet is a large data set for ob for object detection uh, and RVLCD is a large data set for classification and there are also three small data sets of labeled form and two receiver data sets for key information extraction. They try them all. They try and swing uh, the visual backbone or public net and they train the main uh, graph doc on RVLCD. <laughs> Next, find union tasks. Uh, um, and by the way, they also mentioned that easy OCR can detect uh, individual words or block of texts. Uh, they tried both and apparently they do the second choice and their training bottom figures for different types of documents. Uh, uh, then they run traditional ablation studies and they show that everything matters, uh, but, but not really that much difference in results. Uh, and also they look look for various hyperparameters. And next they discuss that the graph doc pre-trains on a small data set. Look, this is a this is a plot on fun SD depending on data set sizes. Previous transformed based document understanding models such as layout LM 1 and 2, they have transformers and they train on really big data sets of million documents. And here they use relatively small data set of 300,000 for unsupervised training and get better results compared to vanilla transformer by using graph attention network and uh, the traditional table for various fine-tuned tasks are uh, showing that the results is either state of the art or at least uh, quite good compared to previous models which were typically transformed based and using millions of in documents data set and the results of downstream tasks uh, look something like that, where important information is detected on four so, so recipe receipts. <laughs> and uh, I'm almost finished for now. This uh, slide of main takeaways. Uh, graph doc is a get model for document understanding, pre-trained and supervised on mask sense modeling tasks and can be fine-tuned for other downstream tasks. Uh, thank you for your attention.